Hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today. And today we are going to be talking about a very controversial subject. Yes, we are. You know, it's uh, crazy. As a coach, you know, you're faced with a lot of things. But this goes way deeper than just being a coach. This this is just about being a, a, a human being, uh, a leader, uh, something that you've been called to be. You know, I, I got into a conversation with some old friends this week about life, and we were talking about the idea of quitting on things that are important. And when do we start quitting? And if we do start quitting, uh, we did come to the conclusion that once you start quitting, quitting is the only habit you can't quit. You know, Vince Lombardi said, once you learn to quit, it becomes a habit. And the old Vince was right. You know, Babe Ruth said, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. And that is very, very true. And I want to tell you, in life, uh, we often do get beat up, you know, whether it's in relationships or whether it's a job or something where it's just not fun anymore. And so we decide, man, you know, I, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I think I just want to quit. And I understand how that feels. I think we've all been there at one time or another. You know, and, and I was, when I first started doing this channel, my son, it was funny, he he kind of encouraged me to quit a little bit, I think. <laughs> Not I think. He encouraged me to quit. Um, he was like, Dad, nobody's going to watch this, I don't think. Uh, it's good, and I love what you have to say. I just don't know with the world the way it is if it's ever going to really grow. And I don't want you to be disappointed. So he was trying to protect me. He really was. And I said, you know what, buddy? I I'm just going to do this because if I can take this opportunity to encourage other people, even if it's one person, I really do want to do it. So I started working and working and working and working. And, and here as of late, you know, we're starting to see some traction on the channel. And it, and it really is very, very cool. But before we get going on all that, I want to uh, make a couple of announcements. One, I want you to take this opportunity to like, share, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And make sure you follow the channel. We do appreciate it. We are, as of the making of this video, under 100 subs left until we hit the magical number of 2,000 subscribers. And once we hit those 2,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving a pair of beautiful shady rays sunglasses away the ones exactly like i'm wearing in this video and trust me it won't be the old stinky scratched up ones that i'm wearing it'll be a brand new pair in a fancy box coming to you to your house so make sure you stay tuned for that we're definitely going to be getting closer i would say in the next week or so we will be uh, getting set for the drawing on that and the sling mod giveaway i got an email from josh that's the co-owner uh, with keith and he told me that the uh, Sling Mods cards and some caps are in the mail. So uh, we're pretty excited about that. In fact, we're not pretty excited. We're very excited about that. Just super, super cool. And also, if you've noticed that things look a little different, and I'm going through some uh, growing pains right now, on the video editing software, um, it, well, recently Apple decided to do an update to iMovie, which is their base kind of uh, video editing software package, and that's that's what I've always used. And uh, when they did the update, it no longer allowed you to uh, download in 1080p or HD, and so um, I ended up finding a way to do it, but. In the process, it was taking like 10 hours for the video to render. It was really, really cumbersome. And so I just started using the uh, new Final Cut Pro, which is a pretty expensive software package. I think I like it. Um, it's Like I said, it's, uh, it's definitely been a challenge. It has everything that iMovie had and a lot more. And so uh, sometimes you can be prone when you're uh, wanting to do things, maybe to overdo it a little bit. So I'm trying to keep the format exactly like uh, we have it, uh, but just maybe make it a little more polished. So hopefully you see some positive changes and you like what you see. So without further ado, where were we? Oh, I know where we were. Quitting. You know, 
I was told, I, when I played football in high school, I played for a gentleman named Nick Hyder. And Nick Hyder is a legend in Valdosta, Georgia. Uh, Walt Baysmore was his predecessor that was another legend. And, but Nick had a say. I'm sure that a lot of you have heard this said before. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. He had another thing that he would say, and he'd say it seven times. It would be, I will never, 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 never quit. And, you know, those things as a young man gave me a tenacity, a stick to that has really carried me a long, long way. And that's something that I imparted on my children. In fact, I really pushed them to not quit anything. Um, I remember telling my children, pick your sport in the eighth grade and make it a good decision because when you're a senior, you'll still be playing it. I don't care if you like it or not. You won't quit. And, you know, they did. And they worked very hard. And none of my children were superstar athletes. But what they learned through all of these things is the idea that it's good to be a part of something greater than yourselves, and it's always good to stick to it. One of the big things about not quitting means that you have to stick to it all the way through. And I believe, I truly believe that the greatest lie that is being perpetuated in the world right now for young people is the lie of instant gratification. That you can have it all, and you can have it right now, and you, and you don't have to do anything to get it. It's just there. You know what it does is it cheapens success. And it cheapens the hard work that people are willing to do in order to achieve these wonderful things. You know, it's through hard work that we get physically fit. It's through hard work that we become intelligent. And it's through hard work and relationships that we end up having great marriages and great friendships. And those things require work. And every time something bad happens, you can't just walk away from it. You know, one of the things that we're dealing with right now in our family, and, and as if you can call it dealing with, I think that's probably a, you know, overemphasizing something of great simplicity, is the idea of, like, for example, my son is in the Navy. He's not sure if he wants to stay in for the long haul. You know, he may end up getting out. He might not. He's not quite sure yet. But one thing he is sure of, he won't leave because he doesn't like it. He'll only leave if there's greater opportunity because he knows that he has a commitment to excellence to his wife and his soon-to-be-born child, my grandchild, Coach Bob Five. <laughs> so that idea of stick to not quitting, not giving up, never giving in, it's just not an acceptable part of the equation. Now, you might be saying, how is this relevant to riding a Can-Am Spider? I'm listening to some old gray-haired goofball talk about not quitting. Well, you know what? It's relevant to everything in your life. It's relevant to everything in my life. And the reason I'm kind of ranting, I had a conversation with someone here recently um, who was contemplating quitting. And when I asked, well, why are you quitting? I just don't want to do it anymore. And I said, well, what are you filling that void with? Because in everything in life, when you quit something, you create a void. And if what you're quitting is something that's good for you, and I'll just, I'll pick exercise because that's an easy one for me, right? So if someone quits exercising, what are they going to do with that time? And if there's not something that really needs to be done, then what will happen is you'll sleep more. You'll eat more, and you will put on weight. Now, that may sound awfully obvious, but that's true with every habit in our life. It's true with everything that we quit. We create a vacuum, and I do, and I've always lived by this, and I, and I, tell, I share this with my children, is that any good habit you quit will be filled by a bad habit. Think about your life. Think about the good things you've quit. And if you didn't have something to fill it, how something immediately bad filled it in. That's just, that's just how it works. Now, I don't think I'm telling you this and that you are the, that I'm like preaching to you or something. Because I'm not. Because I'm guilty of the same things. I'm not hypocritical. I know when I fail. And I'm not ashamed to say that I have failed in my life. And I've quit things in my life. Quit things that I shouldn't have quit. 
you know when you see yourself uh you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like man you know i used to be so fit i used to be so strong or i used to be so this or i used to be so that and then all of a sudden you go man what happened um, sometimes there are reasons for those things, and I'm not going to say that that every time you you stop a habit, it can be there are habits that have to be replaced, but they need to be conscientiously replaced. A good example of that was when my father fell and broke his hip. My habit of going to the gym every day had to stop because my father needed my help, and so my new habit was driving over there and taking care of him and the time that i would normally give to myself to work out and do those things was now to take care of him and you know when you look back you go man that was well worth it well then when he died all of a sudden it created a void it was a void that i had not thought about right because i couldn't control that habit stopping so once that stopped the intelligent decision to be made would have been well step back into the good habit that you were doing but i didn't you know what i stepped into a bag of potato chips (laughs) and if you've noticed on the channel coach bob looking a little thicker than he used to and but i am taking the weight off and it's one of those things where those habits in your life you know the habit of getting up early You've heard me say it many times before. You lose an hour in the morning, you'll be looking for it all day. The habit of getting rest. The habit of taking care of your soul, your mind, and your body in that order. So I don't know where you are right now, but I hope that as you contemplate the things that you do and the things that you continue doing, that maybe this might just offer you a little insight that might save you some of the heartache that I have experienced in my life. You know, I recently asked a lot of the the older riders to send me some emails with their stories or just their thoughts, their views, their ideas of riding, their philosophies, their paradigms. And I got a lot of letters, y'all. And I want to tell you, they are beautiful. They're a beautiful portrait of what a life should be. I will tell you, honestly, there are several that I read that I needed a box of tissue. I mean, it was wonderful, beautiful. People have seen Tough Road, and they've stuck to doing the right thing. And it encourages me. It encouraged me big time. And I hope, as uh, the channel continues on, one of the things that I want to do is I want to take those stories, those stories that these folks sent me. Now, I would never violate a trust. I will not put your story on this channel without talking to you first. But there are several that I want to reach out to in the not-so-distant future and get a little more information about your story, maybe even have you send me some pictures so that I can share your story on this channel because your stories inspire me to be better. They inspire me to do more and to not quit the things that I do. There have been times, you know, there's always that time where things are going wrong and you go, man, you know, I I can't do this anymore. And that's true with every endeavor in our life. So you guys inspire me to always press on to try to make quality content that keeps me moving forward in this world. And I thank you for that. You guys don't know it. But you're quite a gift to me, and I'm grateful for this channel, and I'm grateful for my beautiful bride, Coach Vic, and all of the things that we have in our lives, because they came through hard work, sticking to it, not quitting, and a never give up attitude. And I know that from the letters that I read this week, that you guys are experiencing the same exact things in your life. You inspire me, and I'm grateful for you. So, if you would, subscribe to the channel, share this content, inspire others, help others be more. Lift as you climb, my friend. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm just going to continue on my ride here, and I want to tell you, thank you for listening to my little rant on quitting, because I was faced with a lot of questions this week about quitting, and it really surprised me. 
I had folks I never thought of that would quit that have talked about it. So I need you to do me a favor. Go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself, and remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now go seize the day. We'll talk to you soon.